if you check out my last video on Chris Eubank Jr., um, I correctly predicted that he would defeat uh, Liam Smith. And that's simply because I've, of what I've seen from Chris Eubank Jr. and of the career he's had. As I said, <laughs> Chris, Chris Eubank Jr. is known to have a solid chin, a granite chin. And the way he went down in that first fight versus Smith gave me suspicions that that weight was 100% a concern. Even though Chris Eubank Jr., due to sportsmanship, didn't want to make it as an excuse... It was 100% the weight why he went down so easily. Um, Ronnie Davis obviously mentioned it as well. Ronnie Davis is uh, Chris Eubank long time. I, I, Chris, I guess he's been an advisor to the Eubanks, um, was a previous trainer to uh, Eubank Senior. Um, but as I said, I'd watched the overlap with, with Gary Neville. He seemed a lot more focused. Uh, you know, he'd, he'd, he'd obviously sort of got it out, his relationship that he had had with his, his dad. Um, as you may know, his dad went on talk sport and mentioned that he had concerns with Eubank facing Conor Ben. Um, and now the main key is as well is the fact that Chris Eubank Jr. has got his health, uh, a new trainer with, with that being Bo Mac, <laughs> Brian McIntyre. Um, he's got into himself a nutritionist. Not, not many people know that Brian McIntyre, Bo Mac is actually a nutritionist. I think yeah, um, I used to watch um, uh, training camps with, with Terence Crawford and I think, Bo Mac has like a he has some sort of degree or or not a degree, some sort of certificate in nutrition anyway, um, and he likes cooking and stuff. But one hundred percent that Bo Mac would have uh, had an influence on this win. But one thing that I was thinking about well, actually while I was watching the fight is if only a Chris Eubank, if only Chris Eubank had listened from the day one of his career, I wonder where he would be because, like I said in my previous video, Chris Eubank Junior has one hundred percent underachieved in his career. There's no doubt about that. He's he's underachieved. He hasn't won a world title he needs to get himself a world title um he did call out triple g i'm not even sure what birth triple g even has um but he did call out triple g uh he called out uh conor ben as well so maybe he's um it's a case where he's just looking to cash out but chris you went is a, is a big um name in boxing he's always going to make uh good numbers he's all going to make sorry he's always going to make good money and he's always going to get good numbers as well um in terms of uh a pay-per-view he's a he's a at the end of the day, he's seen his son, so he's he's got that uh, surname to sort of ride him through his boxing career. But I'm looking forward to seeing uh, who Chris Eubank faces next. I don't think there's going to be a third fight just simply because of how magnificent Chris Eubank Jr. looked. Um, he looks incredibly sharp. As I said in, in my previous video as well, in the weigh-in, in terms of a health perspective, he looked he looked he looked healthy. He looked full. He didn't look weight drained. Uh, he, looked, he he was focused. Um, and yeah, Bo Mac, big up Bo Mac because it's going to be good seeing them two together. I wonder if Chris Eubank Jr. will actually maybe go, go out to the States for a bit. Um, but yeah, check out my last video. As I said, happy that Chris Eubank Jr. won. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens from here. CBC, I'm out.